What is up everyone? I am Henry and welcome to Tech Lore. Today I'm going to show you how to bypass your work, home, or school's Wi-Fi using nothing else but good old Google. No downloads or installations needed whatsoever. NordVPN is one of the best and safest VPNs on the market with its extremely secure double VPN and kill switch technology. Their 700 strict no-log policy servers worldwide allow you to stream content and torrent at ultra-fast speeds in any country with absolutely no restrictions. Get an entire two-year plan for only $79 by clicking the link in the description and using the code HOLIDAY SPECIAL when you're checking out. This crazy deal expires next month, so don't miss out. To start this video out, I'm going to begin with instructions showing how to do this awesome trick, followed by an explanation as to why and how it works. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. Please keep in mind that this is not guaranteed to work for every single person, and if this does not work for you, I apologize, you must use a VPN or a proxy to bypass your Wi-Fi, but this is for a majority of them, and it will work for most of you out there. So let's go ahead and start by opening up your web browser. I'm going to be using Edge as an example, because that's all it's good for. So before I show you guys what you can do with this, what this is going to let you do is it's going to let you access the website, and navigate through the website as you normally would. The only thing you can't do is download from a website, but besides that, everything is 100% working. A website commonly blocked is Reddit, so let's use that as an example. So first, let's just go to Google, and theoretically, if I was at school and I clicked Reddit, it would not allow me to access the website. So the way we bypass this is you're gonna right click and copy the link. You can use Google, you can use any search engine, as long as you have the link to the website. Then you're going to open up Google Translate. Now there's lots of different things you can do, but I just recommend choosing a language besides English in the first one, pasting the link in here. So once you have the link pasted, you should select this to English, so you translate it to English. This is assuming you're an English speaker by the way. If you're a Spanish speaker, you can set this to English and set this to Spanish. But I'm an English speaker, and I'm going to translate it to English. After you translate it, you're going to click on this link and it's gonna do its thing in the background and here you go so this is the reddit website and assuming I was on school Wi-Fi it would still do the same thing I can interact with the website as I normally would I can select certain posts I can click on new it's gonna give me all the new posts you can select a post as I said And that's really all there is to it, guys. You can use Google Translate to access any website using this on pretty much any network that allows Google. So that's it for the instructional portion of this video. If you guys want to stick around to hear the explanation, I'm happy to do that. If not, please like this video if it helped you out and you're going to use this. And subscribe if you want to see more tips like this in the future. I will see you viewers in another video. And those who are sticking around, let's go ahead and go through the explanation. A disclaimer right off the bat, I'm going to be explaining this in a much more simplified way than what is really going on, but hopefully you kind of get the general idea of what's happening. So what's happening is we're essentially using Google as a proxy in order to access a website. Rather than us directly trying to access a website which is blocked by our school or work, we are accessing Google which grabs that website for us and it displays us the information using its own website. An analogy I thought of is, you think of Reddit in this case as a pack of Smarties, and your school doesn't allow Smarties to be on campus. Smarties represent a site blocked by the school. However, your school does allow Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls represent Google. You are essentially placing the contents inside of the Smartie inside the Tootsie Roll, so your school thinks you have a Tootsie Roll, when in reality you have a Smartie on the inside. So when you open up the Tootsie Roll, you actually have the contents inside the Smartie, similar in the way that we were able to use Google to access the contents of Reddit. That's a simple explanation, guys. If you have any more questions or need assistance, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give a like and subscribe to my channel for my newer videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Snapchat for channel updates and some extra stuff I post every so often. I'll see everyone next time on TechLore.